The Valley of Death is a collection of obstacles or barriers that academic investigators face in translating their research from the laboratory to the patient's bedside. We believe that the answer to the Valley of Death scenario is in a public-private partnership. In 2015, we established a unique public-private partnership with a group of Kansas City area community leaders and investors organized as BioNovus Innovations. Our partnership with IAMI has been uh, phenomenal. We have uh, developed a team of experts that uh, have experience in the industry, and they have been able to help us to commercialize at the pace of commerce. We've invested to date in 59 uh, projects discovered by investigators at the University of Kansas. Of those 59 projects to date, 11 have been partnered with the private sector and one drug product approved and on the market. Over the past five years, um, we've supported advancement of five KU-invented anti-cancer agents uh, from the bench to the bedside in clinical trials um, in which patients in our catchment area participate. Phoscyclopyrox was invented at the University of Kansas. To date, we are currently evaluating Phoscyclopyrox in ongoing clinical trials in muscle invasive and non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. Well, I've always considered bladder cancer to be the black sheep of genital urinary cancers. Uh, it's the fifth most common solid tumor in the United States, but people don't know about it and they don't talk about it. They're surprised to hear that there are about 80,000 new cases every year and there are about 18,000 deaths every year from bladder cancer. If the drug demonstrates safety and efficacy in large-scale clinical trials and ultimately reaches the market, Phoscyclopyrox will be the first bladder cancer-specific drug developed in 40 years. This is really the first time here at the University of Kansas and in the region that we've seen um, drugs that were identified by our own researchers be moved forward into clinical practice. We're really excited about advancing the health of patients in this region. My career has been dedicated to development of novel agents for bladder cancer. And what we were able to do was put together a program, lay down the train tracks, if you will, uh, for this program to move forward. And Phoscyclopyrox is just the first train. The secret to the success uh, that we have had is uh, uh, team-based science. And it's really critical that all of these different disciplines uh, interact uh, with each other and they enjoy working uh, together and they have a common vision and mission uh, to bring new drugs into the clinic. And um, I think Scott and his team have done a great job of, of doing just that. We're extremely proud of everything we've accomplished here at the University of Kansas Cancer Center. And we've played a significant role in uh, establishing a National Cancer Institute designated cancer center. We felt like there was an opportunity to build a cancer center around drug discovery and development. It really is the fruition of, of what we dreamed of um, many, many years ago of what a cancer center could become. In addition to the uh, tremendous institutional support we've had for our program here at the university, we've also enjoyed um, outstanding community support for our program. Together, we formed a public-private partnership, CureBridge Collaborative. CureBridge Collaborative is the vehicle by which we bridge the valley of death and move discoveries from the University of Kansas into early phase clinical trials. It's not just phosphocopyrides, it's what's coming next. It's a program that has been structured to build more candidates, to lead to more potential agents, really with the goal of impacting our patients and, and providing better outcomes.